What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of this F1 2010 Let's Play Career Mode on Expert And it's the final episode of this season Yas Marina, getting ready for that Let's take a quick look at the standings Because this one ain't in the bag yet 13 points ahead of Mark Webber uh, so it's looking pretty good. All I need to do is finish ahead of him. You know, wind will uh, suit me just fine on Yas Marina. Yas Marina is a track I like pretty well. Didn't have to do a lot of training to learn it. I know that track pretty much inside out already. So yeah, I'm definitely uh, curious to see. Uh, from my recollection, the I wasn't very good on Yas Marina, so I wasn't really stressing uh, coming into this uh, race. I must admit. So, there we go, and yeah, I got asked, uh, since I stayed with Lotus, I could decide the R&D path. I had no idea what to choose. I don't know what either of them does, but aggressive sounds good, and I might end up with a Williams rear end oh, like uh, they had this year. So, went for aggressive. I uh, didn't really expect to have to select that now already, otherwise I would have asked you, a wise gentleman, for some advice, but... Uh, didn't realize it was already going to ask me in Abu Dhabi for uh, next year's car in the Lotus, of course. So practice went pretty dandy well. P1 in practice. And let's head to the qualifying. I'll show you guys my uh, setup, which is very similar to the setup I have uh, for online. Uh, perfected it there. So pretty high front wing angle for good turning. Breaking balance. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You can uh, pause the vid if you want to. Uh, See, so you need a bit of uh, ride height uh, because there's there's especially one uh, strange bump and you're going to want to attack the curbs a little bit. So I'm not too fond of the 1-1 one, one, uh, ride height settings uh, on this track because uh, it's not a very bumpy track but you're going to want to be able to attack a bit the, the curbs. So that's why I put that on. 2-2 two, two, might even go higher. In fact, okay, guys, but I was comfortable with this. Changes, uh, let's look how I trashed Yarno truly. <laughs> Oh my god, he's got three fastest laps and one point, but I totally trashed him here. Uh, so you'd be amazed, but uh, it looks like he's gonna maintain his contract with Lotus. I want Heike, man. I want Heike as my teammate next year. You figure, you know, someone ending that high up in the Lotus would be able to, you know, put some uh, contract details in. But here we are for this final hot lap of the season on Yas Marina. Break down the third at about the 100 meter mark. Hit that apex. Don't go too wide. Don't want to lose some speed there. This you can take flat out if you nail the turning point. Flat out in fifth. Watch out. Don't go too wide or it'll be bumpy ride there. Drop down the second. Uh, yep, third and then second as you hit that first apex. Dropping down up to one, uh, up to third. So I limit the wheel spin here again. Very careful. Exiting out. Don't want to spin out or go too wide. You'll lose way too much speed. Uh, on this long ass straight where uh, Alonso must have been frustrated this year. Man, can you imagine 50 laps or something behind someone's rear wing? Break at about where the curbs start. You drop down a second, hit that apex. I went a bit wide on this lap. Uh, don't touch that curb on the right hand side, exiting out, or you will spin out. It's another one of those silly, slippery curbs that'll spin you out no matter what you do. So back on the back straight, you break at about the 120 meter mark, drop down a second, cut that curb, cut the other curb while feathering the throttle, going through there, up third, down a second with a little touch of braking, make sure you stay on the track, all the way flat out again through here, and you break just after you hit the apex, drop down a second, Hit that uh, curve again, up one gear, down one again, hit another apex, up one gear, down another gear, down the second, feathering it through. Don't hit that uh, green stuff on the right, because uh, that's going to slow you down. Drop down the third, drop down the second here for that last corner, hit that apex much better than I did. I go way too wide here, cost me some time, but still nets me a 141 point. Oh, 091, not such a spectacular lap, but spectacular enough. To hit pole position. Was really close with Vettel and Hamilton. And Weber's only in P4, so it looks like he's uh, messing it up again like he did in real life this year. So that's a clean sweep for now. First in practice. First in qualifying. Let's see if we make it first in the race, right? Sorry, I'm um, got a little itchy throat, so I'm drinking a lot. So, yep, just checking out the race strategy, seeing lap 4 on Prime, there's 11 laps on Yas Marina, and I'm not too worried, things are looking good, P1, there's Weber only in P4, <coughs> sorry, all I need to do is really finish ahead of him, 
or even you know if he wins I'm still good with a second place even a third place um, if Weber wins and it's not looking very likely now though seeing um, he's only in P4 his teammate in P2 Hamilton right behind me in P3 so no uh, sneaky starts here Weber's uh, too far back on the other side so I'm gonna try to do a good start Come back a champion, that's exactly what we're gonna try to do. Get off to a pretty bad start, lots of wheel spin in second gear, Vettel gets by. A little uh, wheel to wheel bumping I guess we could call it. <coughs> Sorry, but Vettel gets through. That's right, Vettel is through, but he's so slow through here. So I'm cleaning out the bollards, I don't like those things. <laughs> and boom, diving down the inside of Vettel. That was a nice move, I guess, but Vettel is just way too slow through that corner. And First place. Let's, try and stay here. let's try and stay here, that's right, Rob. And look at the gap that's already opening up. It's like my car is on turbo. It's like Lotus have fitted uh, a special uh, curse system already for the final race. Because a nice gap already forming here in only lap one. So yeah, this doesn't bode well for having a tight race. It does bode well for uh, me winning the championship. But uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna be honest. Abu Dhabi's just, AI is just horrifyingly slow on it. I mean, there are other tracks uh, where we had some boring races like uh, Monza and Spa. And um, cause that was raining as well in Spa, if I remember. But uh, yeah, this is, is pretty horrid. Almost a two second gap to button in P2. So yeah, okay. <laughs> this is uh, this is gonna be a long ride to the championship, a long victory parade, I guess. Because uh, yeah, I, I, I want to deliver you guys good races. Now, uh, gives me some time to chat about other stuff. Uh, I've been telling you guys I was gonna do a, a season with uh, AI mods installed. That, that's still somewhere in the cards, but I'm not gonna start another um, career season right after this. I'm gonna focus more on doing um, multiplayer videos. I have another thing I'm working on. Well, working on not really, but thinking out the concept, I guess. Of doing um, hot laps for each track in uh, Grand Prix mode, using a good car. You know, kind of like I do with the qualifying laps here, but. Um, with actual good cars, so the times are uh, <coughs> competitive, and I can show you um, some setups I use online. I'm even thinking of using um, a camera to uh, like show you my uh, pedal usage, my foot movement, so um, you guys can see when to brake, how to brake, how hard to brake, how to apply the throttle. So it's gonna be kind of like a hot lap tutorial. So that's something I'm thinking about doing, and of course the regular um, race edits uh, for the multiplayer races. I got um, actually two uh, leagues that are going to be starting fairly soon. Uh, I'm going to be joining the Apex Racing League, uh, which is going to be a full sim league. So no assists uh, for nobody. And uh, we're forcing cockpit view for everybody as well. There's some debate about that, whether cockpit view or T-cam, uh, which one is better or faster. It's not really a matter of being one being better than the other, but I feel that T-cam is such a huge advantage. Um, you can just, I tried TCAM for the first time uh, on Monaco a couple, a week or so ago. I never tried TCAM, I just dived straight into the cockpit. So even while I was not used to the, to the camera, oh, I go wide there. Even though I was not used to the TCAM, I shaved off half a second to my personal best in Monaco within like 10 laps on TCAM. So yeah, this uh, Apex Racing Sim League is going to be a uh, full sim, so no assist, cockpit view. All that jazz, and then there's a race race apartment Limiter league, on. On. Uh, which I'm uh, looking to be joining as well. Which is going to be um, gets a bit more casual. Uh, manual gears will be allowed there. If you guys are interested in either of those, go to the racedepartment.com or I don't really know the address for the Apex Racing League, so Google is your friend. Exit. Exit now. <coughs> yeah, I'm sorry, my throat is really fucking up. To I'm smoking too much this weekend. But uh, pit stop was there, and it uh, looks like we're gonna be able to end up in P1. There's someone coming up on the right, but yeah, he's too far behind. So that's another first on the last race of the season. We actually finish uh, our pit stop in front.
in P1. So that just goes to show how bad the AI is on this track. Because usually, even on the tracks where they weren't as good, I just still had to fight my way up a little bit. I'm sorry I can't bring you a full suspenseful race, you know. So I'm cutting a lot, because this is basically it. It's just me trying not to fall asleep at the wheel, because there's no challenge. And I'm, I'm very sloppy, and I make mistakes, because, well, I'm not focused. I don't need to be focused. I don't need to drive hard. You see, my best lap time is uh, more a uh, full three seconds down on my quality time. I'm not even really trying. So, yeah, lots of uh, cool projects coming up on this channel. So, um, just not the career mode yet. I've, I've kind of grown tired of racing against the AI. Uh, even with the AI mods, it's going to be good. But it just can't beat racing against other um, good skilled uh, human players. Like, uh, recently I was in an online uh, battle. Two, three laps, the guy was chasing me, trying to overtake it, was super clean. Um, for two, three laps, the guy was right on my tail. And this, it's so thrilling to, to know you're, you're driving another human, you know. You're hoping he's going to make a mistake at some point or try and stick to the line. You know, he's going to be more aggressive overtaking. You know, if they're clean, you know, he can still be more aggressive than the AI while keeping clean. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of grown tired of the AI for this, for this uh, moment, so don't expect... Season 2 with the mods to be starting too soon. Of course, this is going to give me more time to give you, um, you know, the things I talked about. The hot laps, the, the other multiplayer races. Um, I, think I pretty much record everything I do. and So there's a lot of multiplayer races that you guys never get to see because well, they're just too boring. So I'm thinking uh, as another thing, I'm going to do like an overtake 101. Like... Uh, Again, go through the different tracks I see in multiplayer, show you some overtakes. And also, um, this is uh, Pietro Fantastic's idea, we put this in a comment to one of my other bits. Uh, show you which are the good overtaking spots, which are the very risky ones, and which are pretty much the banzai don't overtake there, because you're going to have contact overtaking spots. So, you know, trying to, uh, you know, I'm not claiming to be the greatest driver ever. <coughs> I most definitely am not. I keep getting uh, beat in the race department races. But um, this is sort of a tutorial um, on hot lapping, on overtaking, all that good stuff. So we're two laps from the end. Let's see if we can even still see the gap to uh, Vettel. I don't think we can. <laughs> I, I am in any case going to install um, loads of visual mods um, so you can, guys can see that in, um, in the multiplayer vids I'm showing. I'm going to you know, hunt around for all the new liveries of the 2011 cars. Put those in uh, the cockpit cam. I'm happy with that, so I'm not going to be uh, messing around with that. Uh, Abu Dhabi in the dark. I know there's a mod out for that. Because here it's basically, you know, it stays uh, it stays dusk, basically, the whole the whole race. Yeah, we're already preparing for the celebration for the World Championship. Vettel, Button, Alonso, and Weber totally dropping the ball. Looks like he's... Uh, Reenacting 2010 Abu Dhabi because uh, apparently he's only in P7. So, yeah, I know I could have gotten a Red Bull seat. Uh, looks pretty clear now that I am gonna beat Weber, uh, who I selected as my rival earlier in, earlier in the season. But, um, yeah, if I, if I would take that, it would make it even easier. And it's already pretty fucked up that I can uh, become world driver's champion in a Lotus without any messing, you know. Making my car better or downloading cheats or sticky curb mods or whatever. So, yeah. Well, I heard about 2011. There was a Twitter uh, message um, that they're going to announce uh, the first details when um, before the Australian Grand Prix. In real life, of course. So, in a little month, um, well, three weeks more like it, uh, we're going to have the first details of F1 2011. Which is all cool, but I'm still waiting on word on 2010 to have you cowards tell us that you're not going to patch it. I mean, of course, we all know it's not going to get patched. I haven't heard about it. Mm-mm. They just dug their head in the ground, hoping it to blow over. And it's blowing over. If you look at the forums, not a lot of wine posts anymore. But that doesn't make it any less bastardastardly. Bastardastardly. So we are the final corners of this World Championship season in the Lotus. Final corner, not messing up, saying hi to the team, and that is it. World champion, baby.
Thank you, boys. Oh, thank you. I love you. <laughs> that, that was a um, pretty weird soundbite from Vettel. And yeah, another big point they can work on. There's absolutely no sense of achievement. No champagne, no crown, awesome. no... All season, Drivers Championship and third in the Constructors. The team is over the moon for you. Well done, mate. So that's basically what you get for winning the World Championship. Achievements and... Yeah, Rob, who's fairly excited. But no podium, no... Out lap, no. Even on the team radio, he wasn't saying anything. Well, yeah, when the results came up. But otherwise, yeah, it's just so badly scripted. So badly scripted. But, uh, yeah, here we are. End of the season. We've actually won it. Uh, it wasn't looking too good uh, midway through the season. Had a pretty big gap to uh, Weber. Well, Weber had a pretty big gap to us. But we clawed it back race by race. And won the teammate challenge. Well, that wasn't too much of a challenge, I must say, with uh, truly. <laughs> uh, well, he got one point. Gotta hand him that. Truly got one point. That's it's better than nothing. And that's the point. If you're gonna stick with uh, Lotus, you're probably never gonna become a um, World Constructors champion. Uh, <laughs> because looks like your teammate is always crappy. Pretty much no matter what team you go to, your teammate really sucks. Thank you, Holly. Thank you. Yes. Well, when I started it, I kind of did because I knew the AI was crap on so many tracks. <laughs> but there, there doesn't seem an option for that answer. Boring. <laughs> it was twilight pretty much the whole race, so I don't know what happened with the timing. Did the people from Abu Dhabi like buy the sun and made it stand still or something? <laughs> I don't know. Well, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little uh, career mode season. If you want to take a little look at the standings here. In the end, convincingly beat Mark Webber. It was pretty close for a while, but uh, in the end we came out on top. Lewis almost uh, took over Sebastian Vettel. Just one point between them. And the Ferraris failed pretty epically. Uh, and uh, Petrov outscored uh, Kubica. Yeah, right. <laughs> Kamui Kobayashi took some good points and pretty much everyone scored a point except Chanok and Glock uh, Glock who was, uh, was going to miss the next test because he had his appendix taken out <laughs> so yeah as I said I hope you guys enjoyed this little season um, plenty new uh, F1 2010 vids coming up and another little special thing related to commentary which I'm not going to divulge because it's in its infancy so in any case, I want to thank everybody uh, for watching. Uh, thank everyone for your comments, your likes, uh, your subscribingness. And um, in any case, I'll be still be around. Make sure uh, to check out my other F1 2010 vids. So yeah, and here you see the proof. It was on expert mode. Every single race, every single thing of that. World champion on expert is right. You won the Formula 1? And they should actually make an extra one if you do it in a crap Lotus. <laughs> I really would like to have that. So I'm not really an achievement whore. I don't really care. But that one world champion on Expert, I really wanted to do that one. And uh, there's another one I want to show you. Where is it? Oh yeah, a true gent. That's probably the one you all should be striving to get. Completing a race without hitting an opponent. So this is it for me, guys. Hope you enjoy this. Peace out.